Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another teaching. This one is on the Demon Duke Balafor. Um, he's an interesting character, okay? So before I get into his character, this and stuff, yes, this is an initial invocation, but it's not a spell. Um, the reason why I teach this is because before you choose to do a spell with a certain entity, you can skip this if you want to, if you want to take the chance, but I highly, highly recommend either coming to someone like myself or anyone you feel knows what they're talking about in this field. If you're going to do it yourself, um, do the initial invocation first. And even that, if you want, just simply a relationship with entity. To continue to have that relationship with them, have their energy, their time, their order within upon you, right, and favor. Just do regular initial invocations, followed by thank you invocations and thanksgiving invocations, okay? And when necessary, of course, you can step it up to a spell, or like I say, come to someone like myself, and we'll fire away with a spell. Also keep in mind, you can still request a spell with me from a certain entity, even if you haven't done the initial invocation. I then will teach you what to do, which is a thank you invocation, which is also very powerful. So, getting back into the initial invocation of the Demon Duke Balafor, okay? Before his characteristics. On an, I'd like to use an A4 size page. It's pretty much it's like the right size for this. On top, you're going to put this incantation, which again, you're going to call out a minimum of eight times. You get repetitively, okay? When you do this, your left hand is facing down, right hand facing up, close to his sigil. You're going to be darting your eyes between his candle flames and sigil, back and forth, back and forth, which is why I recommend always drawing his sigil out as well. All entity sigils, hand draw it, it helps you to memorize it, which plays a big part as well. But if you want to, for aesthetics and um, even just for like the praise part of it, you're welcome to print out a sigil and place it around there as well but don't skip the written petition it's very important his incantation on top will be cayman vifa tassa balafor cayman vifa tassa balafor one green candle one black candle his name scribed on both keep the candles together <coughs> embalm that with sandalwood oil again keep the <coughs> excuse me the offering simple but heartfelt and fresh for him I suggest fresh herbs wine and snacks down to savory snacks crackers cheese anything fresh okay and I know a lot of guys get confused with this you do not have to necessarily change it every single day but if you see it's going off or it has some crack on there rather freshen up okay it shows a lot of respect and will grant you more favor so some characters for most of you will be known as um, he tempts man to steal and then people walk away and like think, okay, that's that's boring, that's of no use to me. Don't be too quick to walk away. You could be walking away from a being that could be extremely beneficial to you. He's not limited to tempting a man to steal. Yes, he can do it, but he's not limited to that. So don't be so quick to judge. He's more known for once you get to know him. And it, it actually shows his, his level of versatility, which is amazing. Again, that's why I stress you guys so much, keep learning, keep growing, keep practicing. And if you really want to get truer insights into this, I, and again, it's not a sales pitch, but I do recommend hitting me up for a consultation or a spell when necessary. You're going to learn so much more through me like that, besides these short bits. So, he can most definitely take your enemy's strength, their power, anything they've taken from you, whether it's your birthright, your energy, your power, he can restore it to you. And also, by taking their strength, their power, and attacks that are upon you from them, he can most viciously throw back on them. So he's extremely amazing to use in return to send the spells, murder curse spells. Fantastic for that, okay? On the other side, oddly enough, he's pretty amazing with healing work. Again, for those who resonate with him, who gives him the time he requires, the respect he requires. So there's a lot to learn from this guy. It is not like you see in most books, like you see in the movies and on some other YouTube bits. It's not. Working with him correctly, he's amazing with healing work, energy work, gaining and increasing your energy, healing of oneself, mind, body and spirit. And he will help teach this as well. And again, what is glorious is um, not just with him, but with him in this specific instance as well. The more you work with him, right? And, and meditate him, you're going to start getting automatic downloads on specific topics you are seeking, which is like just truly mind-blowing. Also, um, 
when he's with you, right, and you resonate with him, he's actually pretty freely available in his time and generosity with you, which is a pretty big deal. Um, his, his energy, like if you want to start to get sensitive to energy and entity, you, if you feel it or see it, um, some are granted um, presence in many different ways, but that energy, and sometimes if you get to look and um, feel it's that of a, of a vampire, um, that is him. Okay, so he's a taker, but also a giver. And remember, there is a blood connotation here, which carries actually a lot of power. But again, that's for another vid, guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed the vid, the knowledge, show the like, share the vids, guys. And again, if you need any of my service or teaching, simply email me and I'll get back to you. Okay, keep growing. Be good or not.